this is a taser sword with um, the sheath over here. It has a heart on it because, I don't know, we gotta make it look good for the ladies too, I guess. Um, the sheath is just really two belts and I just used a plastic there and I wrapped it up with electrical tape because leather and electrical tape, um, they're not conductive so you can carry it without being at risk of being shocked. Like if the button goes off in your pocket or something. And it's powered by these 9 volt rechargeable batteries. And the button is right there and this is how it looks like on cheek. Mm. It has these two spacers here which are just insulators, either electrical tape that's just wrapped up until it's thick enough to be um, at the right space of these two blades. Um, it keeps them at the right distance so that the sparks jump between the blades. Um, well, behind the tape, you can see that the blades are attached with these two screws and these nuts right here hold it into place. Um, and these are the two wires from the boost converter down here, which is connected to the PVC pipe with tape. And this is the part that holds the battery, which is made of cardboard, just so that it holds the battery, so it doesn't fall off when you're swinging it. The blades are also pretty sharp, so even if the, the taser stops working, you still have a nice weapon here to um, hurt someone. But it's not really a practical self-defense weapon, because it's too big to carry around. I guess in a future video I can make a smaller version that's actually practical for self-defense. If you guys notice, the sparks don't jump across the whole blade, like in the first taser video. And that's because I really didn't um, place these spacers at a good position, so that the blades are equally spaced apart. But the effect is still the same on the weapon. I guess. If you're still gonna get shocked, it doesn't matter how it sparks. So, it just looks cooler, but if you wanna get that effect, you just play around with the distance of the spacers or the position that they are on the blades, and then you should get the effect. Actually, it looks like I might have gotten the spacing right. 